Hi everyone, my name is Ron Leite and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to continue talking about how to send Google's emails using Google's App Script. In the last video we saw how to send a simple email by creating the data from a spreadsheet and using it to send the email to the person. Today we are going to see how we can use an HTML template to send out the email. So if I come here under Tools and Script Editor, we have our script and I change a few things. Let me just minimize this for now. So this is the function from the last video, where we got the data, and for each row, we are getting and making the email and sending out to the person if the last column was not set to send. Today we are going to come here and add a file and create an HTML template. We'll just call this template for now. You can see that Google already gives us the bare minimum for HTML, so we have the HTML here, head and body. What you're going to do is just translating this message here to an HTML format. I already did this here, so you can see I just added things inside the body. I created a header called new client and then a paragraph for each line of text. So you can see that I have hello, then we have here again row 2, row 0, which are references to our columns. Then I have another saying that the person was scheduled to work on the client from start date to end date. And then for questions or more information, talk with row 6 and 7, which are the client focal point and focal point email. Note that for every row, for every type of variable I add here, I have to use this notation. So I have to put a question mark and a equal sign here. And then I have to close it at the end. Now, here I just add this strong here just to make the characters bold, but it's just personal preference. You can add what you want here. Now, with this template set, how can we add this to the email in order to send it out? So here I come to the email and I just copied and pasted the whole function. The start will be the same, so we're just getting the data. The start of the for loop will also be the same as we are just reading the lines and adding it to the row variable. And then inside the if here that we are making the email itself, we'll change some things. Now here you can see that I had the variables for each of the rows. So I had variable to send out an email. I had the subject here. Start date and end date, they will continue. But the message was being prepared here. So I had the message being written down here, the variables. I had to write those slash ends for jumping lines. And now, instead of getting this data from this variable, I'm getting this data for my template. How can I do that? First, I'll create a variable for my template using the HTML service and create template from file. Here, I have to type in the same name as my template file for my script. Then start date and end date are the same from up here. And I have to create them prior to the next step, which is passing the variables to the template. Now note that I wrote down template dot start date dot end date and dot row. And just passing start date, which is this variable, end date, which is this variable, and row, which is this variable here. This is case sensitive. So if I came here and wrote down, for example, start date. I had to come here and write start date. Also, those names doesn't need to match. I don't need to have the same names. I left it as the same just to make it easier to read, but they can be different. I can use different names here like uh, information or starting project date, ending project date, and here I have start date and end date. They don't need to be the same. Now, the template is filled out with the variables and now all we have to do is create the message. So for that we will use template.evaluate.getContent and this will give us the message 
the same way we have prepared manually up here. To send out the email, we also need to change some things. So here we had the two email subject and message. Now you have to use brackets inside the email parameters. The two will be the row one, as we had previously. I just didn't create a variable for this, I passed it directly. The subject I also passed directly for in a string here. And the, here we don't have just a message, we have to type HTML body. Just make sure that we are using the HTML format. Then we send the message. The last two lines are the same as the previous video, we are just making sure that we are not sending email to people that already received them. Also, just a quick note, I created a new menu button called send HTML emails that uses the send HTML function we just created. If I come here and click on send HTML emails, the script will run, it will write send here. If I open my email box, you see that I had this email here, which was based on the last function, and this new email here, which is now in HTML format. Now, here I can use many types of HTML formats. I could use CSS to stylize my data, I could also use images to import images or banners inside my text. All you have to do is find out what you need and how to do that in HTML inside Google Apps Script, and then you can send it out on your emails. This is the best practice to send emails because this one it breaks the lines a little weird and this one works better like it goes until the end of the lines. So make sure to always use this if you're sending out emails in your company. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.